722.9 transmission rebuilt out of which car is that? SL63. SL63. What we put before the camshaft and the new and deck manifold, the same car. Okay. All right. Did the, did the electrician check to see if it is uh, it has a problem with the TCU? As the customer told me, someone already tried the wall body before. They touched it before? Before in another thing. They don't want to mention the Oh, yeah. Don't mention the name. No need to mention the name. Okay. Did you drain the oil? Uh, yes. Oil is moved. Well, it's out. Okay. Let's open it to see what we're going to find inside. Do you remember how many kilometers? I don't have a video from this guy. Yeah, I don't even remember where it was the last time, man. Tell me also the kilometers to, to put it on the. At least try to find it with the kilometers. If you have a video link, send me the link to remember which car is that. Because I didn't show it, I was inside the engine room. Okay? Alright, I'm gonna work here. I'm start opening the transmission, and something is weird, at least to me. This, 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 and this. This is something new. The oil looks disaster and has pieces inside. I drain a little bit of oil from the MCT. It's, it smells bad. It looks bad. It, it, it's disaster. I don't know when did they change the last time. This is new for me. Let's move on. Let's start from here instead of the dance room. I have brought some parts here because I don't have a space outside. Okay, the clutches they're not in in good shape. Okay, this. These are fine, okay, but if you go see the K2, you see that they're black. On a non-performance uh, application, on a bone stock application, you might get away with that, but not for long, okay? I have a problem with the, uh, with the B2. I have a problem with the B2, I'm going to show you this later. Uh, it didn't came out easily from the housing. It, it, it's supposed to slide in and out nicely. You're supposed to don't force it to, to, to take it out. I haven't hammered it. Okay, but I did that on the parking brake, on the gear, on the big gear, because I don't care I have another one. Uh, either this or the housing has a problem. Most probably the housing has a problem. I'm gonna see about that. When I'm gonna split it to change the seals, I'm gonna take it one by one, because this needs to be clocked. Always, yeah. Let's go outside to see the rest of the transmission. I have the valve body with the TCU here. <sighs> yeah, the, the O-rings, like I'm saying all the time. It's not existing. The same thing we can be also for the solenoids. All right. The, the biggest problem from what I see right now, it's not from the clutches. The biggest problem, if it's not the TCU or the torque converter, it's from the seals because all the seals included also the solenoids you're gonna be like that you're gonna be in and out freely they don't provide any any seal i'll show you that before let's go outside to see the rest of the transmission right here outside the b2 it's located here there inside dang it how gonna turn on the light okay it didn't came nicely out it's supposed to come freely this magnesium, by the way. That's why I said to the guys to bring me this housing that we have upstairs. This from a download transmission. Okay? I need to check something here because there are some things that... Yeah, I have to see. If I have to choose, I'm gonna see how I'm gonna end up. I'm gonna split, like I said, the B2 and then I'm gonna double check it. Now, Let's go at the clutches. Here is the K3. It looks decent. The clutches. Okay. The K2 inside I show you. Pop. Then we come here. And the clutches are coming apart. Where I show it. Ah. I don't know if you can see on the camera what I'm talking about. It's a good chance to change the clutches. Okay. 
the pump I have there, the pump, MCD I have it here, the gasket I have it down here, put it down here, okay. Then the pump I don't I didn't show any problem on the boost of the pump or the pump itself. I haven't measured it yet. Also the housing looks nice and clean. I don't see any leap. When I'm gonna wash it, I'm gonna see that again. Now, now, what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna wash this because most probably the housing I'm gonna wash for no reason. I'm gonna check the B2 first. It makes sense, right? I think that makes sense instead of struggling because if this is gone, yeah, I'm not gonna waste my time. Otherwise, if it's the B2, I'm gonna grab on B2 from upstairs and finish the story. Yeah. Okay, the parking gear, I have to change it. Uh, I hammer it to come out. I'll show you what I mean. I don't care, I have plenty from the same transmission. So I hammer it at this point here and I hammer it also at this point to be able to remove the B2. Uh, I didn't want to hammer the B2, obviously. Classic, but for the gear, I don't care. On the gear, on the clean surface here, I'm gonna measure it from here to here the distance to see that the donor one is gonna be the same and I'm gonna use it. Obviously, it's not on the customer because these parts that I'm gonna use, the parking gear or the housing, this is from a previous customers that they never get their parts back. So don't think that I'm charging extra the customer. This is free. This, the parking gear is free because again, it doesn't belong to us. Clear? I hope so. So, nothing, stop talking, start working. You need to clean a couple of things, put it inside of the engine room, and first thing first, B2. Yeah, that's the priority. I'm in and out. I'm bringing some parts here, some of them I'm cleaning it, and I'm bringing it inside now. Pay attention. All right. Fine. By the way, output shaft does have any problem. Okay. This is the one that I hammer. This is back to the customer. I don't care about it. This is the oil pump seal. This is the output shaft seal. This is the oil pump big o-ring, and this is the pipe on the TCU on the valve body the seal for the oil pan and the metallic gasket now let's go over that don't be confused this is the 72.6 here all right left 7.9 this 7.6 because the transmission of the 7.6 is still here I'm waiting the sleeves for the valve body now one good thing this is the one that belongs to the car this is the one that they brought me from upstairs here See, it's full. Nice, not bad. I'm gonna open it, obviously. But I'm not gonna looking for a B2 upstairs. I have it here. Nice, nice, nice. You can see the how it looks like the stupid housing. Hey, talking about there inside. It's rough. Let's see. Let's see. Don't don't judge before you take it, right? Before you see what's going on. Correct? It's been compromised down there. If it's not sealing properly, it's gonna give you some headaches. We're gonna see about that standing by. Yeah, let's continue. I need to cover the MCT there so don't feel anything inside. Yeah, cover. Back inside of the engine room, okay? Like any other time, what I'm doing, I'm opening the box and I'm counting the clutches. I'm setting it up like this, okay? The ones that they're all together, they're okay, they're complete. The K3 and the B3, yes, B3 and K3. Yeah, B3 and K3, let me double check again. Right, correct. It's missing one inner and one outer clutch. It's short by one outer and one inner clutch, okay? I have a five inner, five outer, but I need six and six. Okay, and on the B3 here, I have one, two, three, four, and four inner. When I need five and five. Guess what? This is not the first time. This is happening all the time, years now. <laughs> don't ask me why they don't bring the correct amount from the first place. 
This is happening literally years, not once or twice or three times. Same thing for the 72.9 and the 72.6. So I need one outer, one inner for the K3 and one outer and one inner for the B3 to make to be correct. Story of my life. Now I'm preparing it like that. Then I'm getting it and I'm putting inside the bucket with the transmission fluid to get soaked overnight or for an hour at least. In this case, you're gonna stay overnight. Sometimes staying only for an hour. Uh, then forget about the clutches. I already know that. It's not something new, unfortunately. Unfortunately, and it's never gonna stop. It's never gonna finish. I know that even the next time they're gonna order clutches, it's gonna missing again. One set of the, from this side and one from this side. I'm I'm sure about it. Not maybe. It's 110 percent sure. Yay, lovely. Uh, here I have the seals and the gaskets. It's not now the time. Just what I want to say right now. I want to mention the clutches. Yes. And I'm going to wrap the valve body with the TCU. With the nylon. It's not now the time for that. And because now I'm going to spend time to wash the housing. The transmission housing. The bell housing. To prepare it. I want to. The old one I'm not going to clean so much. Because I want to know. I want to see where's the problem. Okay. So I'm not going to spend so much time with the old one. Uh, no, you know what? Screw it. I'm not gonna spend time even with the used one, the new one, used one, the donor one, if you like. First, I'm gonna take care about that. That's that's the plan. The bell housing, I can clean it. I can wash it. So, preparing, washing, uh, inspecting things, changing seals. I need to see the pistons here and here to see the condition, how it looks like. Okay. Definitely, I'll, I'll, I'll gonna have a sludge here inside, big time, like any other time. O-rings, yeah, the classic. So the next video, it will gonna be tomorrow, and I hope also that tomorrow I will gonna get the correct amount of, cl of clutches. This one, this is the inner gear of the K3, and classic. The seals are flat, but I have to open it. I have to take it apart to see that everything is fine and doesn't falling apart. There is no problem. There is somewhere here and the here. You see. I haven't inspected it yet, I just clean it. This it might bite it might bite the clutch as it's moving in and out. What I'm trying to say, that's what I'm trying to say. That if it's not smooth, it might bite inside at these grooves. That's not the ideal. You're gonna give you a headache. Okay, then the same thing. We're gonna see about that. And same thing can happen also here. Yeah, it's a little bit rough. It's a little bit rough. I might have upstairs. This is not from my formatic. This is a rear wheel drive. I might have upstairs one. I'm gonna see about that. I'm gonna see about that. I have to measure also the pump with the filler cage to see that it's fine. It looks fine. I don't see any crazy wear or something. It's okay. I don't remember if I mentioned output shaft is excellent, it's not been twisted, no need anything there. So we stick to the plan. Uh, clutches, seals. I don't see any catastrophic failure till now. I have used parts that I can replace to be okay. I'm interested to see the Phillips uh, screwdriver, the, the bolts that has the valve housing. What, what, is, what it is? What's going on with that? I'm talking about the one that I showed you at the beginning. I haven't seen that before. I have to trace it to see what's going the maze inside and to see what's doing and why it's there. It's like a blockage. We're we'll gonna see, right? Yeah. You you will not gonna see, I'll gonna see. Yeah. <laughs> That's it for now. Over and out. Clutches, I need to call the office to come here to see and once again to see that they're missing clutches. <laughs> Yay, lovely. Thank you very much. Next part, most probably tomorrow. If they don't stop me for something else, standing by for the, the post transmission, yeah, leave it down there. Moving on.